Hi friends, in our time together today, I want to review one of the reels from the website I shared yesterday. Um, the reel is Cooley's reel, and I want to do it from the session website because I think you're going to appreciate this resource that they provide. Um, tons of tunes, uh, very helpful, and, uh, and we'll look at some of that together. I selected Cooley's reel because it's crazy popular. It is not amazingly difficult, uh, but it will also stretch us. It will help us learn and develop our skills in playing our whistle. Um, I'll add the link to the specific page that has Cooley's reel. I'll put that in the show notes for you to access. One of the things I want to do for us is when I find resources, when I find something helpful and encouraging, I want to share it with you. If you find resources that you think I should share with the rest of our little community, uh, please let me know. You could shoot me an email. You could, you could uh, add a comment in, in the show notes. So I'll add images um, to the uh, page, the portions of the page from the session as we talk. I'll move over here so that there's room. And um, so when you access a tune, you're going to see multiple versions on, on the site. And these have been posted from people. You can play through different versions as as you go and that's very helpful but what i really like in addition to the multiple versions is like i said yesterday there is a little button that says play audio and when you select that you can select the speed at which it plays um, so i'm just looking at the very first version of cooley's reel and what i want us to think about is Again, a reminder as to how we're learning things. So for me, there's a number of things that are going on as I'm learning a tune. I need to grasp the basic tune. And so I'll play through the tune and I'll play it just to get the notes right. And that's one of the phrases that I'm really glad to learn Cooley's Reel for because you get that phrase that has those jumps and that's very helpful that will help you learn better hole coverage keeping your fingers close that'll help a little breath control um, so that's awesome so I will actually I will start and I will go through that phrase a number of times. Let's do it like. And I'll play it. I'll play it through. I played it through enough times yesterday evening that when I went to bed, I was hearing it in my head. Um, it's really helpful though. Try that out and do that for other portions of the song. Don't feel bad if the first time you play something you can't nail it. We're learning. And so what you do is the first time you play something you go that's a difficult patch. And so you go back and you play that section of the song again and again until you start to get it. It might take you many times. Again like we said the other day don't Play it till you frustrate yourself. Play it to start to feel it and then come back to it again. So I will play that way the, through something, but I will also listen to it. So I'm going to press play audio and I'm going to show the image of that on the screen. And the different audio uh, you'll find with different um, versions of the tune, um, depending upon uh, who posted that version. And with this, you have the opportunity to change the speed. 
So I'm going to change the speed like to as fast as it'll go. All right. Okay, I'm not going to try and play along with that. One of the things I like to do is I like to start the audio and I will play along with it. So I'm going to go back to slower. Don't feel bad if you need this slower. So I'm going to try and play along with it some. I think that playing along with the audio will help you be a little more relaxed because you're not so self-conscious about how you're feeling. So you can play that along. You don't have to use the metronome. I love this feature because you can play it slowly. You can reach the point where you're comfortable playing it slowly. You can come back and you can increase the speed a little. This is a brilliant way for us to learn to play a song. If you feel like I'm doing really well with this tune now, playing it slowly, then increase the speed. And you will soon find that you can play it faster. Progress step at a time. That's what we're after. Now, another thing I think this is really good for is uh, we've talked about ornamentation, but I've not hit on this a lot lately. But with a tune like, with tunes like the reels, the reels are quite quick. The, uh, the quick eighth note is, is the standard note, and it's a little hard to throw some real, some uh, ornaments on that if you're a beginner. But bear in mind, as you're playing this slowly, once you feel like you've got the tune, every um, quarter note uh, is, a, is a long held note for a reel. So put an ornament on that. Um, anything that's held, ornament. If you're transitioning to a higher note, great time to do a little ornament of some type. If um, you see two notes in a row, put an ornament at the second one so you're not having to tongue every note to differentiate one note from the next. Um, I'm going to leave some of that up to you. And uh, there are some great recordings you can hear. Um, I don't want to enforce uh, ornament my ornamentation on you because I'm still working on that myself. And Ornamentation is a great way to personalize. We're going to spend a lot more time on ornamentation in the, uh, in the future. But for right now, since we're still in the beginning phases of our learning process, I want us to make sure we're nailing the tunes, getting the whole coverage, and our dexterity, muscle memory, and speed down. So I'll share those images from the session website Please use the play audio. It's brilliant. It will help you a lot. And if you reach a point where you stumble over a phrase, like that, that um, jumping phrase, if I'm playing through that and I've got the audio set faster than I can do that, I'll chuckle and I'll pick right back up where I was in the tune. So, um, you know, get a feel for the tune. This does lead me to ask a question. How many of you are comfortable with uh, reading music? Uh, shoot me an email. I'll put my email down here like I've done before. Um, do you need the tabs? Are you okay with the music? Uh, please let me know and, and I'll find a way to, uh, to address that for you because I'm here to help you because helping you helps me. Until next time, this is Scott Shade. Happy low D whistling.